All righty, we're over here at the uh, Digico booth with my friend Matt Larson, and uh, we heard about this a couple months ago. It was, uh, well, I forget which plaza was it really? Yeah, right? uh, Music Mesa. Music Mesa, yes. So we heard about it, seen some pictures, and this is the first time we're seeing the SD5, which is kind of the new slots in between the 10 and the 7. That's correct. Uh, numbering is still a little bit weird, but... It's uh, English. Yeah, okay. I got gotcha. you. Opposite. All right, oh, it make, makes sense. Okay. Why don't, you, <laughs> why don't you tell us some of the new features of the uh, SD5 here? All right. The SD5 is kind of a sing it's a single engine version of the SD7, a little bit less inputs, a little less outputs. If we look at the surface, what's nice about it is you can have truly multiple users on the desk at one time. It'll do 124 inputs. You have a 24 by 24 matrix, two solo buses, plus 56 buses that could be used as mono or stereo aug sends or mono or stereo audio groups. In addition, we've added a lot of cool features that's going to happen on the entire line. A couple, a couple of them are, is I can go to a channel strip and just touch on the AUG sends, and it's going to spill out all of my AUG sends for that one particular channel. So if this was just a vocal channel, I could real quickly see that I had all those effects sends on. So now if I just want this reverb, it's that quick to get access to that. If I want to come to this, this effect send, it's that fast. There it is. Okay. And then a couple of the other fun features that we've added is if I go to my dynamics, I really have two dynamics now. You basically have, uh, this can be used as a compressor, a multiband compressor, or a de -esser. Now my second dynamics can be used as a gate, I can use it as a ducker, or a second comp. That way if I'm using the first one as a, uh, um, a de -esser, I still have a compressor on that channel strip. Mm -hmm. Very cool. okay. A couple other really cool features, let's come on over here. And let's look at my VCAs. We call them control groups. So I'm going to go ahead and this is my drum. So if I turn up my drum VCA, it got louder in the PA. But we have another thing that we have. We have the ability to actually go to my AUG sends and I can actually have my AUG send VCAs control the AUG send pots on an input channel. So I'm going to select the drummer's mix and you'll notice my VCAs just jump to the middle and there's an electronic break right here. What this allows me to do is to bring up or down the actual AUG sends on the input channel strip right here. So if the drummer says he wants more drums in his mix, I can just bring up his entire drum kit, which is being controlled by the AUG's VCA. Now then, let's say the keyboard player says he'd like more drums, and he's in mix three. You go to select mix three, you come over to that drummer VCA, and you can bring that up or down, whatever you need. So it's a really fast way to actually mix a big set of inputs. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're trying to do front of house and monitors, yep. you got a lot of people changing in and out and stuff, it's really quick to be able to grab people. Yep. Another great feature is we now can actually have a preset of my AUG sends. Okay. So you could actually go to like say the drummer's mix, we'll just keep picking on the drummer. If we have a multiple drummers, you can actually grab a preset which is all the AUG's pot settings across okay. the whole desk can actually be stored as a preset as well. So you're going to recall their mix basically in a couple of button pushes. Exactly, exactly. So it makes it really smooth to be able to say, hey, you remember, let's give me my setup how we had for the traditional service last week. I don't want my contemporary. It's same drummer for yeah. two various applications. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So um, pricing and availability on this desk? We are shipping as of today. Awesome. Um, we've sold a lot of them already, which is really nice to kind of kick start it. Mm -hmm. it. The cost on it is $158,500. That includes the SD5, two HMA optic cables, and the SD rack loaded with 56 inputs, 40 analog outputs, and 16 channels of AES. Wow. And we also have a trade-up program. So if you have an older analog desk or anybody's digital desk, we have various credits that we'd give anywhere from a $12,000 range to $25,000 range. So it's a great way to be able to quickly switch out a product, not having to worry about trying to resell it to somebody else and also have to guarantee that it works for 30 days or whatever to another customer. Yeah. And a lot of the software updates that you've shown us here are going to be rolling out to the entire SD line, correct? That is correct. Every single one of them. And what's really nice is we believe uh, all of our updates are free. We don't charge for them because, one, you know, we fix a couple things that need to be addressed, but also we're adding new features and we would rather have our entire customer base be on the same operating mm -hmm. system because that's why we actually do the updates in the first place. Right, right. Very cool. So uh, more information can be found at digico.biz. And uh, you can see some more stuff on the SD5, the 7, the 8, the 9, the 10, the 11, cool. and the whole line. So um, you guys know I love my 8, so um, I'm kind of a little jealous of the 5, actually. But um, Let's take it to your car. Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, just take it to the car. Drop it <laughs> in. Take care of that now. All right. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate your time. Thanks for coming. All righty.